Well, a brave little boy from Dallas is about to go on what could be a life-changing journey that will take him thousands of miles from home. He was born blind, but he is on his way to China for a procedure that could allow him to see his parents' faces for the very first time. Heather Hayes has tonight's Whatever Happened To. Guys Williams was just eight months old when he was first on Fox 4. Take a look. <coughs> just as cute as he can be, and you would never know it. Night, night, baby. <coughs> Little Cash has been blind since birth. He's such a blessing. <laughs> He has septo-optic dysplasia. It's an underdeveloped optic nerve. When you go to the back of the eye and you see this normal eyeball, there's then these nerves that go through the brain to the back of the brain and deposit information. He has underdevelopment of those nerves. There were nights that I cried about it. Cash's parents found out about a treatment offered in China where doctors would inject Cash with six rounds of umbilical, not embryonic, stem cells over the course of a month in the hopes that Cash's brain might regenerate the missing strands of the sight-giving optic nerve. The doctors say the procedure is not offered in the U.S. because stem cell transplants have not been studied enough to be considered safe and effective for Cash's condition. Well, Brittany emailed us asking, whatever happened to Cash Williams, the little boy who was blind, and they started a fundraiser. Brittany, take a look at this home video. Just like any other one-year-old, Cash bangs away on the piano. He's also learning to walk and talk. <laughs> and his parents are packing. They all leave in June for Qingdao, where Cash will get stem cell injections. It is possible that before he comes home from China, he will begin to be able to see. Fundraisers made the $30,000 trip possible, and the family says thank you to everybody who donated to help give Cash the gift of sight. Now, there will be one more fundraiser. It takes place May 22nd at Chill in Grapevine. Good Days Lauren Prisville has even donated a tour of Fox 4 as part of the silent auction. Is there a story?